weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC president Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local heavyweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for his UFC debut. Of course, he was discovered on Dana White looking for a fight, and man, did he shine that night as such. Here he is making that aforementioned UFC debut. The question is, will there be jitters? More often than not, you do see newcomers experience some of those nerves during fight week, but especially on fight night. He's not wide-eyed right now. But if there's an adrenaline dump early, that could be an advantage for his opponent. Nonetheless, good to see him making the walk tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Russia. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, El Terrible. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. The referee for this one is Mario Yamasaki. Round one. All right, here we go, early round one. As many of you know, this is his UFC debut. He won his fight on Dana White looking for a fight, and Dana gave him the UFC contract. And this is a legitimate challenge here. No easy outs in this division. We'll see how it goes for him here in his first UFC start. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, big shot. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. Both fighters are a little hesitant here. Uppercut lands. Oh, he's rocked. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, oh it's a huge oh, hand. hand. He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Oh, very nice. Big left hand there inside. Hurt him with that uppercut. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's been landing a lot of uppercuts in this fight. They could be a big factor. No doubt about it, Joe. Caught him with a punch. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Going to the kick here, Joe. Shot to the body is blocked. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Oh, uppercut to the dome. Look for him to set that uppercut up. He blocks the punch. Nice shot. Excellent feint with the kick. And he landed the right hand there. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. There's that uppercut again. Getting the hands going here early. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Ooh! He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Oh! He is stumbling. Oh. He's picking him apart. Oh! Big left hand! Another shot, he's in trouble. Oh, straight right. Let's take a look at some of this action here. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. was clearly hurt. He's gonna look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's gotta mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one oh! strike. Big shot! He's got him hurt here. Big straight punch. Lands oh, a hard shot hand. with the we'll left. See if he can follow it up. He is getting off some huge punches here. He got tagged there. Oh, and he snaps off the jab in his face yet again, really starting to use it as an effective weapon in round two. For one reason or another, didn't use it. Oh! Kick to the face. He's got him right here. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh. What power that guy has in his hands. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barge right through it to get the knockout. Let's see it one more time. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official Yadisaki decision. Call to stop for this contest at one minute, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce Well, that's how you seize the moment in the UFC debut as he gets the job done here tonight. And the celebration is on with his coaches and his teammates. 1-0 in the big show. Can't start much better than that.